Dylan was speaking on uh, forgiveness and he just asked if there's something that you're hanging on to, like now's the time to let go of that. And uh, in my life, uh, I experienced when I was growing up abuse from a family member and uh, I have hung on to that for 20 plus years. And I have, even so it was, it was funny because that week I was talking to my dad about it and um, I had told my dad, like, I still have not forgiven this person. Like, I'm still hanging on to this, like, resentment, this anger. It's like, I want him to get what's coming to him. And, uh, like, I remember, like, it was, I remember God was speaking to me from the start of when you were talking about, like, we're going to have this bucket. You're going to write it down. You're going to put it in there. We're going to light it on fire. And we're going to, like, let go of it. And I was just like, this is for me. Like, I need to do this. And so I... Even like before he was done, I had written it down and I was ready to come up. And when he lit it on fire, I remember thinking, cause it was, it was burning and we're like, we gotta take this outside. And I was like, in my heart, I was like, I need to watch it burn because I need to like, I need to see it die. And uh, I just like Dylan. So I, I had the, I was like, I need to just tell Dylan about this. And really I just, it's been so hard even just to like, continue to make the choice that I have forgiven this person. Like, a, like every day I wake up and I'm not even around this, my family, like my family lives in Oregon, so I didn't even see this person like on a regular basis. And I know when I go back to visit family, it's gonna be real hard to like be like, like I still have to make the conscious choice to forgive this person, but I have, I have given that. And it's like a weight off my shoulders. It's like freedom.